Hey developers, today we're gonna look at the View Composition API, but today we're gonna look at Vuex, we're gonna look at Inject and Provide, and we're gonna see how it all works together. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric, I am a full stack developer, and also, if you guys like this content, I'm creating a, a mini course. If you go to viewcourse.tech, all you need to do is put your email address in, and I'll let you know when the course is out. And it's gonna go through a whole project of how to use the new View Composition API. So make sure you put your email in there, check out viewcourse.tech, the link will be in the description. Okay, so if you have been following along, I've done a, a series of videos where I've been creating this really simple kind of silly app where we just type in anything in this submit box here and then it brings up a list of breweries. And so you can see here, if I type in pub, it just lists pub. If I type in brew, you know, it would, fetches different addresses of different breweries. So it's really simple. So I went ahead and modified this and I'll put a link in the description to the modified app here to um, not just have this search functionality but also have routes and also have a Vuex store. Um, if you are interested in creating this program from scratch, what I recommend is either look in the GitHub in the link in the description or go to back to my first two videos, which I'll make sure there's a link in the description for those two. All right, so in this video here, uh, I went ahead and just made a few modifications to the app. And so what I did is I had routes. I added two routes. There's this more info route. If you click here, it brings you to just an empty page, which we'll add stuff to later. And then you have the main route right here. And then I added a Vuex store. And the way I did that is you can see here, I installed the Vuex and the router packages, by the way. And it's, it uses modules, so I just import the module like this, this products here. And if I go to the modules products, um, well, I call it products here, but it's really just brew. I guess I should call it brew. But either way, it's here's the Vuex for the brew here. Um, we can see here this state. I have brews. I have a getter that just returns the brews have an empty actions, then I have a mutations that sets the store. You just pass in the brews and then it goes ahead and sets the state. And so that's essentially what this does right here. Now, if I go to main.js, you can see here, I'm importing in the store and the router inside right here. And, and this is also where we declared our composition API. So nothing too difficult here. It's just basically, this is what you would see if you created a brand new view app using the view CLI and then chose the view X and router options, essentially. Except I just went ahead and added in some real easy state getters and actions and mutations. Now, uh, if what we want to do here is we want to see, here's our search brew.view file. Um, we can see here we're using the view composition API. And what we want to try to do is see if we can um, use uh, the store and access the store. So let's take a look here. The easiest way to access the store, and I'll show you a couple of different ways, but let's say you're just inside a component and you have a Vuex store set up and you want to take a look at it. Just inside the setup here, you have two options. You have the props, which are the props that are passed down to the component. And then you have this context. And this context is has uh, emitters, it has a bunch of information in it, but the one we care about most is the store. So what I like to do is you can do this a couple ways. First, if I just do console log context here, and then I take a look at it, and I make sure I have in spec running. If I go to the console, let me refresh it. You see here I have slots, I have adders, emit, listeners, parents, refs, and I have the root as well. So if you've normally, if you're inside a, a normal view object here, you probably have, you probably used to just doing this dot store. But since we're using the view composition API, we don't have access to this, to this at all. So to access it, we do context dot store, uh, excuse me, context dot root dot dollar sign store. So if we do that, like, clear it and refresh it. You can see here the store is coming up in my console. So I know that it definitely is there and it's, it's working. So let's, let's take a look at it a little bit more. Um, another easier way of doing this is we can actually do destructuring since we're using the latest version of ECMAScript, of course. So instead of having to type in context.root, 
dot dollar sign store, I could just put in root here. And that makes it a little easier. And if I do that, then I'm still getting the store here. But I can actually destructure it one more time if I wanted to. I could do root and then I could put dollar sign store. And if I do that, I uh, let's see my auto format here I have prettier in here. It auto formats, but now I can have store and see here it is. Uh, so it should work just like the normal store. Let's try to do a store dot commit and we're gonna do a set state. Remember if we go back to our um, if we go back to our store or brew JS, you can see here we have this set store, which is our mutation. So this should be actually set store, not state. And then we can pass in whatever we want. So I don't know, we can pass in, let's just do a, an object that has test Eric in it. And then once it's committed, we should be able to retrieve it. So if I do const uh, value, I can do const value and then dollar sign store. And then uh, getter, I think I have a getter in here. If I go to brew.js, uh, yeah, brews, getters.brew. And then I can actually return that inside here. I guess I should call it something else. I don't know, value is not a great, it's, it's a terrible name. I don't know, brew, um, brew store. And let's see here, make sure I'll delete that, blue brew store. And I can see if it works. Let's see, I got an error here. Cannot find convert null or object. Const brew store store dot getters dot brew. Let me just console log um, console log the dollar store dot getters to see what's happening here. And it looks like it's empty. <laughs> so uh, I may have committed it, but something is not right here. So one second. Oops, actually, I see what I did wrong. Uh, this actually needs to be S brews. Um, so if I do that and I refresh it, you can see now here's the store here. And now I've sent brew store up here and I can actually uh, access it here. So if I go brew store right here, um, that's what I called it, right? Yeah, brew store and I save it. You see here, it's it's it retrieved this from the store and everything works as we expect it, which is good. But you can see here, this is a, a little clunky destructuring it like this. And it would be nice to have it in a store. So um, well, it would be nice to be able to access it a little bit easier and then um, not having to destructure it every time like this when we use it throughout our app. So we can use a new uh, a new use store, which you might be um, interested in learning. So let's go to composables and we'll create a new file. I'm gonna call it use-store.js. And inside this file, we're going to create our, our store here. And we're gonna use uh, two new things called provide and inject. So I'm gonna import those in to start off with. Import provide and inject. And that's going to be from, I always forget this is, view composition API. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create two different functions. One is our provide store function. And what this is going to do, it's going to actually use provide, which sets a value, which we can then retrieve later with our inject. So we're going to do provide. And I'm going to create a new symbol. And this seems in the official documentation, this is the way they recommend to do it. So that's why I'm doing it. So uh, a symbol is a, just a type of, I guess it's, it's a, a type of object inside JavaScript. It's, I can't really describe it very well, but it's, it's one of the types of things inside JavaScript and a symbol is one of them. If you guys know a better explanation of symbols, go ahead and make uh, me leave a comment below and let me know. Because I'm not uh, describing it very well. So we can do store here and then symbol. And then we're going to assume that someone provides a store. And what that's going to do is going to save it in, in inside this provide here. And in provide, we'll be able to, you can actually, once you add something to provide, you can inject it anywhere inside your app. So once we do this, 
uh, we're going to, um, and I did create here, but this should be const. Um, we're going to create another function, and we're going to call it use store. And in use store, we're going to do const store, and this is where we're going to retrieve it back. So we're going to retrieve it back from the store symbol, and we're going to say if no store, then in the future, if no store, excuse me, um, we're going to do something in the future. But right now, we're not going to do anything. But else, we're going to return the store. So what we need to do is, as soon as we boot up the app, we need to set this provide store with the store. And then later on, we can use use store throughout the app. And it's just going to return the store. And that way, we don't have to grab it from the context and destructure it and all that. So the way I want to do that is I go back to our app.view. And I'll just add the setup function. And this time, I will grab the props. And I will destructure the root. And root, I'll get the store from there. And then from there, I want to, I'm going to import in. So remember, since we didn't have a default in, uh, export, we actually have to destructure like this to grab the function out of the file, the use store file. So we're going to destructure this. And if we remember correctly, we have this provide store. So we're going to run this provide store first, provide store. And that's going to be from. And that's the uh, composables, and that'll be used at store. And then all we need to do is run the provide store and then pass in the store. So we'll do that, and it gave us an error. So we'll see what it's complaining about. Let's see here. Um, comma? There we go. Needed a comma. So I didn't get any errors in the console. That's a good thing. So now it should have injected. Uh, you should have added the provide for the store. So now we can use it, use the use store wherever we want it. So we're going to go back to the use store here, or excuse me, the search brews here. And instead of doing all this destructuring, I'm just going to delete all this out. And I'm going to delete all this out. So I'm going to import in. I'm going to import in, if we look at the use store, it's called just use store. So use store. And that's going to be from composables, use store. Great. Now we can do const store equals use store. And now we have it. So now we should be able to do everything we did here. But was this just store? So let's save it and see if it still works. And we'll refresh it. Looks like it's still working. We have test Eric. If we just put test, I don't know, Bob here. You see here's test Bob. So it's definitely working as we expected. Now we're using this use store. Now you may be thinking, wow, since now we have this, this hook for use store, can I go ahead and just go into my brew list here? And I don't know, just add it right inside this use brew list. But if you look at the documentation, you can only use it with inside a setup function. So you can't use it within your other hooks. Um, you can't like mix and match it uh, in like that. You have to just make sure it's inside the use store, um, inside the setup function. So now that we have this working, let's just see if we can grab it for more info to see if we did it right. So I'm going to just quickly copy and paste this. I'm going to grab the use store here, set up my setup function. And then const store equals use store. So now we should have access to the store. And in this case, we want to uh, just grab the information out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna return. I like doing it like this. I'm gonna const brews, and I'm going to grab the store dot getters dot brews, and then. We always return an object back like this. And now we should have access to it. Let's see here. So if we click here, 
Cool, here's our test Bob, that's working. Let's say we wanted to grab everything from this list here. So we have this list. So instead of committing, um, let's delete these, let's grab these two. And I'm gonna still set the store, but instead of setting it to this just random object, I'm gonna set it to the list. And now, if I type in, I don't know, pub, it fetches it. Cool, and so here's all the information for the pub here, um, which I have still have this up here for this brew store. So I'm gonna delete this brew store out. And yeah, this one right here. And I'm gonna delete here. And I don't want, oops, I don't want this right here. And so now if I look up pub, and I click more info, here's all the pub information in the other route. And if I click here, it goes back. So here, yeah, so that was pretty quick. Uh, you know, if you guys are interested, make sure you like pause the video, go back through it, look through what I just did, how I'm using this use store. I think it's it's a little bit easier than having to structure the props and the context and the store out every single time. You only need to do that once, and then you could just use store with uh, throughout the app. And I'm sure you can do other things inside here. You could uh, get creative. You can definitely, um, this is just grabbing the store, but you can create one for use getters, um, for setters. You can do all bunch of stuff. I think if you guys really like this video, leave a comment below and I'll go ahead and create a whole series where we look at different Vuex, how we can create different hooks for all everything in Vuex to make things a little bit easier when you're using this composition API. Uh, let me know what you think. If you like this video, make sure you also share it and click that like button. That really helps me out. And uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks.